Hey guys, what's up? This is Ziploc Rules 2013, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 3D Land. In today's episode, we are going to be continuing our quest through world number four. Man, we are closing in on the uh, halfway point in the game. Uh, we need 30 medallions to open this level up. We have 50, so that will not be an issue for us. Ooh, we've got some... Uh, some uh, twisty uh, platforms here. This is a interesting looking level already. Um, we are going to be starting off with World 4-3. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, these are... Ooh, let's not be reckless here. Ooh, this is giving me... This almost feels like some of those Super Mario Sunshine uh, secret levels. Uh, um, the one where you had to be careful because the platforms were all turning just like that. Um, although I think that one, that one I actually had a lot of trouble with. It's not really hard when you go back to Sunshine. That's, wow, I just really did that. Um, so, we're dead. That's great. Seriously? God dang it. I didn't even feel like I moved that much, but, yay, we're dead. Let's just get the medallion again. Um, let's pretend that didn't happen. Um, Mario, please. No, the 3D sensor. I can't use the 3D feature. I know I should be using that, but I can't, fortunately. I can, however, get the Tanuki Leaf, which is very helpful. Very useful. Um, use here. Oh, hey, I can get some coins here. Pretty nice. Um, so these... I'm trying to think. Were these platforms, like, used in any... Uh, Mario games, like, after 3D Land? I have no idea. Uh, we get a nice coin heaven, um, section here, though, which is pretty cool. Get a star man, as per usual. These guys. Take them all out. Destroy them. Get all the coins. And there should be a medal at the end here. Yes, there is. As expected. Um, so, yeah, this is, ooh, a new enemy. Just some... Walking tadpole looking thing who absolutely refuses to attack me. I mean, I bet he would probably damage me if I hit him, but yeah, he's a real. Looks like a real weirdo. Not gonna. Not gonna lie. He looks kind of strange, but whatever. Get our halfway point there. Uh, coins. Let's see. Toad, where are you at this time, brother? Uh, I'm just gonna look. Aha, there you are. And, ooh, finally we get a medallion from one of these toads for once. And it is going to go more over here. Yes, over here, actually. Let's grab that. This doesn't seem like it's going to be very hard. You can actually, you can actually just uh, wall kick on these uh, stupid little platforms. It's really weird. You can do that in Sunshine, but it's more of a last-ditch effort. This feels like... It's like some of those little secret levels in Mario Sunshine. It's just way easier. I mean, this game in and of itself is pretty easy, but... Damn, that is, like, way... that That's surprisingly easy. Not gonna lie, but... That's a cool little level. 4-3, we got all the medallions. Technically, it could be on a streak if we didn't screw up 4-2. In the last video, we were on a three-level, 100% streak, but I missed that one medallion, which, that, that sucked. But, uh, ooh boy, we have a ghost house in this game. Our very first one, here in World 4. And, um, we're closing in on 50 lives as well, which is pretty damn cool. We're starting out, ooh, there's a boo here. Don't think, ooh. The floor just poops into existence. Is it gonna... I was gonna say, is it gonna disappear or something? I have no idea. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Get a P-switch. I don't really think it's significant for anything, but... Over here, I was thinking that there would be, like, some dark matter here, like there is in Super Mario Galaxy, where the floor will either turn deadly or, you know, pieces of the floor will just simply disappear, stop existing. That was a very interesting mechanic. God damn it, fuck off. You have to face away from these guys, or face face towards them, sorry. You had to face towards them, you face away from them, and they're no longer scared of you. So you gotta, gotta be intimidating here. Um, 
I know. We gotta go some weird direction over there. Hey, I get a star, man. I can get rid of these guys in a heartbeat. And get a tanuki leaf for some reason from one of them. Now, there is a... No, there is a pipe here. Nice. So, guessing, yes, there would be a medallion here, which is pretty... Really? Uh-huh. Okay, so I've <laughs> Wow, okay, that's... That, again, the friggin' 3D gimmick. I know this game came out right when the 3DS was still new. I think... Well, actually, no, this was a launch tile, so of course 3D would be emphasized a lot in this game, but man, does that gimmick get old quick. Like, <laughs> I'm already over the 3D gimmick, and I have barely halfway through the game. It's like, yeah, okay, 3D, ha, ha, ha. Anything else? Oof. The platform always shows up. That's also a thing in Galaxy, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, for some reason I thought the floor would just start disappearing for whatever reason. I'm guessing these guys are basically still unkillable. No, we can... I can get rid of them with the Tanuki Leaf. Well, sort of. Not really, they do respawn, so... Eh, not quite, but it's close enough, right? You can basically get rid of them. Uh, there's a medallion down here. Nice, that is the third medallion. Third and final. Anything over here does not look like it. I mean, we have everything we need, so I don't really need to look for anything extra. Oh, hey, asshole, what's up? What's up? Uh, that's not where we're at. No, god dang it. That's not where I needed to go. That was not where I was supposed to go. And I just lost two of my medallions. Oops, that was... Eh, that's my bad. That is very, uh... That's my bad. Um, so I need to get those, uh, medallions back. So it was over here is where we got the second one. I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is. Yeah, I've got to do this again. Ugh. That is such a dumb way to die, but... Yeah, I don't know. They did, they were, uh, they knew what they were doing when they were designing these levels. And again, it's not hard, it's just really trolly, I guess. Although, I should have just known, okay, yeah, nothing over there, just go back. But, I guess I was a little too, uh, too cocky there for, uh, for my own good. But, whatever. It's whatever, I can just grab the medallion once again. Um, actually go the correct way. I mean, it couldn't hurt to go a little slow here. Yeah, you can't go over there. The big boo shows up. Yeah, see this platform, like, di dude, I literally, why did I fall there? I literally turned. God dang it. Okay, now I'm just dying for no damn reason. That is really annoying. Um, nah, I'm getting the Tanuki Leaf, actually. I need my Tanuki Leaf. Literally moved there, so I don't know why I fell, but whatever. Uh, these levels, I mean, I don't know. I'm not getting lost in them. That was the thing, the old school ghost house levels, like Super Mario World. You get lost in those pretty easily. That's not a thing anymore. Certainly not here. This is not a hard to navigate level at all. You know, like, the hardest thing is just being like, oh yeah, there's no platform here. Oops, let's not do that. But there's no instance where it's like, oh no, I've got to repeat this section. Because that was what they would do back in the day. You just have, you know, it would just simply end off. It's like, yeah, no, there's nothing over here. What am I doing? But that's not really a thing anymore. Just keep going over there. Go over here. Okay, I'm assuming, and unless it just suddenly ends off. <laughs> unless the game's trolling me and it's just gonna. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, be careful, be careful. Don't, uh. Don't, uh, take these too damn lightly. Only got a couple coins for killing the big bad boo. They <laughs> didn't get. I think, um. I don't know. Sometimes in, like, Mario, you, you'd have the big boos. Usually we'd be blocking off star coins. Not so much in this game, but whatever. Get ourselves a one up here. And uh, probably get to 50 lives, most likely, within this video. And uh, I know for a fact I'm getting to World 5 for sure. Um, so are we going to have one more level? It looks like it. And yeah, so four, what, four, five? Four, five. All right. 
Cool. So you get a bunch of these platforms. These, I think, are from Galaxy, right? The ones that just sort of flip-flop back and forth. Um, or, I don't know. They eventually go away, I know that. At least in this game they do. Uh, I can just sort of go over here. It is really nice having the Tanuki Leaf for this level. Um, probably the most ideal way to play this level is with the Tanuki Leaf. Just to have a little bit of an extra safety net. And screw you, your boomerang is still there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, sneezing. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, you. Man, I try to hold the sneeze in, and it ends up making it a lot worse a lot of the time, so. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. But, uh, that's the first star medallion. This is just taking me to the. Oh, I don't know. Is I supposed to go to the center point, or is it gonna skip me past one of the medallions? I don't know. But I guess we're halfway through the level. I gotta watch out for the spikes. That's to be expected. Of course, they're trying to direct me into death traps. Dude, like, screw off. I literally. Oh, okay, whatever. I literally landed right on you, but whatever. Oh, this game's being dumb. There is a medallion over here. And, okay, that was the second one. Good, they didn't uh, screw me over there. My headset is trying to fall off my head. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Anyway, screw you. Um, which one of these do I want? Probably all of them, but I can't can't quite get them all. Can't, uh, can't have everything you want, but, um, I guess this will be... Alright, this is our main path. Um, over here will take me to the... Uh, take me to the end. I don't want to be at the end yet. Need to get up here, and I'm just gonna... Oh, crud. Seriously? I'm gonna guess this is how I get the medallion, right? Probably. No? Oh, crap. Uh... No, I was gonna say, I think I might have taken the wrong route. Uh, I might have to go back here for a second to actually uh, get that third medallion. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna do a jump cut here. I'm gonna go look for that third medallion. So, I believe... Yeah, okay. That is where the medallion was at. Good. So, um, that's nice. Now I can just go ahead and go back to the end of the level and finish off for good this time. So, I mean, hey, at least I'm not having to go back later on. So, um, we can just count these levels as being completed 100%. Um, as much as I don't like having to backtrack, it is nicer to do it just sort of in the spur of the moment, but, I don't know. I d for those levels I did miss in whatever it was, World 2 and 3, those I missed, like, the first coins. Those, I don't like really going back for those. I like going back when I just barely missed the last one. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are finishing up World 4 right now. This is the World 4 airship. I like this. This is a really good looking game. Look at the sky. Look at all the colors. Very colorful level. Oh boy. These platforms make their return. Of course. And oh my god. Okay. Yeah. That's. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? That is what I don't like about these platforms. They are super trolly and. Super easy to fall for. So let's fuck this guy. Let's go ahead and go over here, go over here. Seriously, I... God dang it. See, that's the thing I have. That's the problem I have with this game. I can't tell where I am. Ugh. I don't like that. Like, I can barely tell where I am half the time. And I literally just died because of that. That is very annoying. What? I was holding right. Why did you not go right, Mario? Now I'm just dying for no fucking reason. This is really turning south on me for whatever. I don't know what I did to deserve this. <laughs> Game's being really dumb. So go right. 
I was holding all the way right. Why did he barely turn? Oh my god, that is annoying. Something's wrong with this 3DS. Like, the control stick is sometimes responsive. Well, mostly responsive. And for some reason, this level just decides it doesn't want to work at all. Anyway, um, this is... Okay, I can go up here at least. I was going to say, do I need to go back up there? Am I going to die? I don't believe that'll be an issue. Oh, hey. Asshole throwing bombs at me. Mario, get up. What are you doing, Mario? I can't see what's happening. Why is he not jumping? Now I'm just dying for literally no reason. I don't even know what's happening. Oh, boy. Those are some things Nintendo could have uh, worked on there. Like, I can't tell where I am. And, like, right there, in the case of what just happened... Start jumping, not making jumps. It looks like I should have no problem making. And ugh, this game's a little rough around the edges. Um, and that's kind of starting to show a lot more in the second half. I don't want to say maybe the game was rushed, but like, like why was I having trouble? Just I'm not even gonna try and imitate what I was doing there because the same thing's just gonna happen again. But oh, that is dumb. That death should not have happened. Like, it just shouldn't have. Um, so we just... Fuck off. Fuck off. Wow, I can actually... Just jump on the boomerang. I thought I was done for... I thought my Tanuki loop was done for right there. Anyway, I got all the medallions, so... Whatever. Let's see what the boss is going to be this time around. It's going to be... Oh, it's, um... Not Wendy. What, what's her name? I forget. I don't remember. I landed right on you, you asshole. Oh, uh, the bosses are being dumb again, and they're... I li Wow. That is garbage, actually. Anyway. Let's just... Wow, you are an asshole. You are a real asshole. Holy crap. Um. Luckily, I just don't jump. I guess the moral of the story... Don't jump when it comes to whoever the fuck this asshole is. Let's just land on... Okay. Wow. <laughs> that was a real bullshit hit where I lost my mushroom, though. Like, come on. Just a simple jump. Um, whatever her name is, she's dead. <laughs> Good. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Uh, anyway. Get an extra hundred seconds for whatever reason. I'm guessing there's... Something over here. Okay, a coin. It got me a one-up. I didn't actually notice I was at 99 coins, but whatever. I got a one-up, and I got an extra one-up. I should be over 50 lives, but of course, my 3DS joystick just decided... No, I, you hold all the way right. Mario, you're just going to go straight. That, that's all you're going to do. And um, I should be in the 50s. I'm only at 47. Oh, well. Wow. <laughs> Tough shit. But... I actually just 100%ed World 4. Didn't miss any star medallions in any levels. It's kind of weird. I'm getting better about the 100%ing part the further I go along. I wouldn't mind keeping that up. I'm sure it won't last that long, though. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was the rest of World 4 and Super Mario 3D Land. In the next video, we're going to be heading to World 5, and I really want to go there. I really want to see what's there now, but nah, we're going to save that for the next episode. So, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and have to sign off. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you look forward to the next one, and I'll see you around. Peace.